Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here, Windows Central, and we're checking out Razer's booth here at E3. I'm very excited about this. This is the new Razer Blade Stealth. You can actually order it now. It goes for $13.99 starting price. There is so much good changes here. Let's get right to it. First of all, check out this display. It is now QHD, but that's okay because it is 13.3 inch. Now, if you looked at the Stealth before, it used to be 12 and a half inches, and they resulted in very thick bezels, which a lot of people complained about. So why not just add a larger display and shrink down those bezels? Well, they did that exactly. So now 50% reduction in bezel size. It looks like quote unquote a normal laptop now, but you get 13.3 inch QHD IGZO display. So absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it should be touch as well. So you get that very good. The other thing you may have noticed, it doesn't look black. And that's because they're offering the new gunmetal gray version as well. So this is Razer's attempt to sort of meet the urban professional who goes to work games but wants a really cool computer as well but wasn't enamored exactly with the Razer's uh, more colorful design. So it is now gunmetal gray. You're going to get the backlit keyboard comes in white and coming to the front here you can see that snake logo it doesn't glow anymore so it's very tame very conservative looking once again you could take this into the business room and you'll be totally fine take it home though and of course you can use it for gaming for specifications we're talking in core i7 7500u so very good processor that is dual core don't forget the stealth is a, one of the thinnest laptops out there weighs less than three pounds it's basically a macbook made for windows 10. now you do of course get two usb 3.0s one on each side you do get hdmi out and yes for all you people who love it there is usb type c thunderbolt 3 that is of course standard with razer because they want you to use their razer core eGPU. so you can go home take this connect it up to an eGPU to say a 1080 ti and just do full gaming with this don't worry dual cores are more than enough for that kind of scenario a couple other specifications with this device it does come standard now with 16 gigs of ram no more 8 gigabyte you also get 256 512 or 1 terabyte of pcie nvme storage so it should be very zippy uh really great design there's also going to be this new case so it's a folio type case a very nice very professional looking but what's neat is when you take it out you can basically lay the laptop down here and this now acts as a mouse pad so you can kind of game anywhere super clever it's always what we expect though from razor finally i gotta mention the biggest change that i love because i'm a precision snob they are using now a precision touchpad it clicks it's giant it's glass beautiful design here and it is full precision with windows 10 gestures and that extra precise support there we're going to be reviewing this in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that because don't forget, you also get the top firing speakers. I just love this device so much. If you're looking for an Ultrabook that can also game, definitely check it out. I should also mention Intel HD 620 graphics. So no discrete GPU. It's too thin for that, right? Uh, you can't put NVIDIA, but that's why you have the eGPU support. But it does have Intel 620, so very good stuff. Make sure you head to Windows Central for more information. We will be reviewing this device. Let me know in comments if you have any questions and what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.